Right, Mr. Bell, we are back in the lab. What are we up to now? So now we've left these test tubes, uh, these chemical tests, for 10 minutes in warm water. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is no observable change from what we have seen um, in the first chemical test. No, I don't think there is. So if we look at um, Q, we, we've still got this precipitate. Um, this, I think we said it was brown precipitate for Q. Yeah, so we said a brown colour and a brown precipitate, but as we can see, we have actually just got a brown precipitate formed. Yeah, so the precipitate has settled at the bottom, and then for R, we've still got this kind of nice, nice blue coloured precipitate, which is also settled, and then for S, we've got a, got a brown precipitate yeah, formed. Got a brown precipitate as well. Lovely. Okay, so um, I guess we need to make a, a record of these. Yep, so I've just got another um, row here, and on standard in the hot water, we can just put no observable change. We can put this for each of them. Now, I don't want to put no change here because there might have been a change, but we haven't observed it. Yeah. So it's very important to note down the only th the thing that you can see, and at the moment, we have seen that there's no observable change. Okay. Now you get, it's very common to get these types of questions in, in exam papers where they ask you what's the positive result and what would it be and in this case there'd be no observable change. Okay wonderful right what is our next step then? So now we're going to move on to step two. So okay. the next thing to do is yep. to, we're going to get our pets that we've used before. So using the same pets so we have Q, R, an S. Yeah. I'm going to fill up some samples in test tubes like before. Okay, so, so, so now moving on to a new test. Are we, this is a fresh test. Yes, yeah, fresh new test. Okay. Um, test two, so one, two, three, four. So that's ten drops of Q. Okay. So we get these out of the way. drops of solution S. There we go. Okay, so what is our second test? So the second test is that we're going to be using sodium carbonate. Okay. So again we're just going to be adding a small amount of sodium carbonate to each of these solutions and again we're going to be observing if there's been any change or what happens okay so here we have solution Q okay so let me just come in nice and close for this so you can so see I haven't put it in yet let's start yeah. putting it in okay oh okay so straight away I'm not gonna add me can you see that sir might put it against yeah uh, go on do so put it against your uh, your sleeve and let's see what we can see so I'm there I'm just going to agitate it see if it sticks to the wall of the, the test tube and yep you can see that there's a bit of precipitate yeah oh. okay I think we can see that let's add some more Yeah, so I definitely say I don't know if you can see that, sir, but you can, there's there's some small um, particles that's floating around. And that's going to be the precipitate. Okay, I think we can. Yeah, I think we can just about see them uh, on the inside wall. So it's definitely become very very sort of cloudy, and I think we can definitely see a a solid being formed in there. Definitely. Okay. That's great. So I All think right. that's completed for that one. So let's make a note of that. I'm just going to put this here. That this is what we use. The sodium carbonate, making sure I know what's what. So for Q, yep. we can see that a brown PPT, so precipitate, formed. Okay, wonderful. 
Let's go quick look on that. So brown precipitate. Okay, and our next test. Our next test. So we're still going to add the sodium carbonate, but now we're going to add it to solution R. Okay. So again, we're starting off initially with the, the nice blue um, solution. Yeah. Let's add the sodium carbonate. I'm not going to add any more, but you can start to see a very nice precipitate starting to form. I don't know if you can get that, sir. Well, let's just maybe focus in a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's get a tiny bit closer if we can. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think we can definitely see a precipitate at the bottom forming there. Okay. okay I just want to make sure what the colour that's formed, because I don't want to say it's blue yet, because I, I don't know if it is blue, but let's have a look. Let's keep on adding more. Yep, so now, yep, you can start to see it on the wall of the test tube. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Switch that around a bit. You can see that the the, the solution has definitely, um, definitely become more cloudy, and you can see that formation of the blue precipitate, which you can see on the on the walls on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So let's add the rest of that. That's all that's happened there. So again, making sure I know what's what before I move on to writing down my observations. So again, we formed a blue precipitate. Good, so I've got that noted down there. Okay, so that was solution R, sodium carbonate, and we've got a blue precipitate. Okay, wonderful. And then the last solution, solution S, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Getting our sodium carbonate. Before okay. we started off with this Yellowy. Um, okay, solution. let's just get in there. Let's, let's just see if we can focus a little bit. Yeah, okay. Right, add the sodium carbonate now. Ooh. I've added one drop. I don't yeah. think you can catch that, sir. Yeah, we did actually, I think. We have precipitate. So straight form. away, just after one drop, there we see perfect precipitate formation pretty much. And let's see if we keep adding more. So instant. So as soon as the drop makes contact with the solution, a precipitate forms. Yeah. So if you get that, but the precipitate is sitting on top, and you can see some of the solution S is just sat at bottom. Okay. So this tells similar. us that the precipitate is actually less dense than the original solution. Okay. So let's keep an adding some more. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, sir. You can definitely see though, there's some bubbles forming at the top, and what I heard mm. was a gas being evolved. So this tells me that there's some kind of gas given off okay. on addition of the sodium carbonate. So not only are we forming this nice brown precipitate, okay. but there's been a gas given off. All right, wonderful. Now we don't know what the gas is yet, so we can't say it's hydrogen or carbon dioxide. No. But we can start to think, we're using sodium carbonate, so most likely it will be carbon dioxide. Okay. In order to test this, we'd obviously have to do the lime water test and pass whatever gas that was through the lime water, and if it's carbon dioxide, it would turn the lime water cloudy. Perfect. So let's make a note of this, so there's a brown precipitate formed. Plus, uh, there's a gas given off. Okay. So, test two, we are complete. Alright, just have a look at that. Okay, perfect. And test number three then. Yes. What are we going to be using here? So, now we're going to be using um, our solutions again, so Q, R, and S. And to each of these solutions, we're going to be adding silver nitrate. Now, of course, the first thing to do is to start to add 10 drops of each of the solutions that we're testing to the test tubes. So, ten drops. Q. Okay. Again, I'm not wasting the pets. These are the same pets we've used throughout all of these tests. Yeah, good. So again, just making sure that we remain organized, consistently using the same pipettes for each solution. 
and only using a fresh pipette for our testing reagent. So now we have filled the nitrate. You'll notice that's got a cork in the top, but also it's wrapped around in a black um, kind of paper slash tape. Okay. Now, the reason for this is because uh, silver nitrate is exposed to UV light and light that's just um, coming from um, just throughout the day. Yeah. It will actually react with the silver nitrate and change it slightly. So we don't want that to happen. So by putting this black paper around it, it stops UV light entering uh, this container, so therefore it won't be able to react with the silver nitrate. Okay, yeah. So let's take this fresh pipette. I'm just going to add a couple of drops of silver nitrate. Again, something I've just noticed here, you can also see some warnings. This oh, warning yeah. is that if you get it on your skin, it can be corrosive, both to your hands also to surfaces yeah and also you have this and it's um, it's got a dead fish here and this just means it's dangerous to aquatic life okay wonderful I shouldn't really say wonderful but yeah so we're not going to be pouring this down the sink so. absolutely not so we've got our solution cube I'm going to add a couple of drops of silver nitrate okay and being careful not to get it on our skin and See what happens. So I've added quite a lot now, and there doesn't seem to be. No, it doesn't seem to be any change. No, no, no change at all. Interesting. Okay. I guess there's no need to add any more. So mm. let's put that back. Let's put this in its container, and let's make a note saying no. Observable change for Q. Okay. All right. Uh, next. So we've got solution R. Again, same thing. Add a couple of drops. Let's see if anything happens. Let's get nice and close to this. Oh, that was very nice. Did you catch that, sir? Uh, I don't think I did, actually. <laughs> Let's see if we can so try and catch it again. Oh yeah, okay. So you should be able to see what appears to be a white precipitate starting to form. Absolutely. So as soon as the silver nitrate touches this blue solution, a white precipitate is formed. It's very, very cloudy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely lost some of that blue colour as well. And also, yeah. don't you can get this, sir, but right at the bottom, you can see clumps of this white precipitate okay. swirling around. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, we can see that. So you can actually see some remnants of this blue solution. It's not perfectly white yet. So there's still a bit of the blue solution there, but the, the precipitate is quite a lot of it. There, you should be able to see. Oh yeah, yeah, we can see that. It's really nice, pure white precipitate. Okay. That's great. All right. So let's leave it there. Put that back. And again, let's make a note of R and a white precipitate is formed. Right, the last test then. So we have solution S. So let's move that for you. All right. Okay. So this is solution S. Final one, let's have a look what happens. Okay, let's just get in here. Okay, yeah. So there doesn't seem to be any change at the moment. Nope. I don't think there's been any change at all. Nothing's happened at all. No, I'd agree with that. Nope, okay, that's okay, let's move on. Okay. Let's put that back. Holder, making sure we close the silver nitrate 
And just write again. No observable change. So what we've done year 13 is we've done three chemical tests to test for different metal complex ions. Now using this data we can start to identify different uh, metal ions from the observations that we've gained.